hello friends now we are going to talk about the another kind of the experiment and that is uh, dac that is digital to analog uh, converter okay now and this uh, digital analog conversion uh, can be seen by the two different methods um, uh, one is the binary weighted uh, digital to analog converter and the another one is r to r ladder uh, network uh, digital to analog uh, converter okay now uh, in the binary weighted uh, dac uh, we can have the two kind of the experiments okay so our two sets that is uh, by using the op amp and without op amp as well so without op amp means the only there will be the circuitry but uh, operation amplifier will not be used and uh, the similar kind of the network will be connected to the op amp then what is the difference between it uh, can be seen okay now uh, what is mean by the binary weighted uh, dac means uh, if suppose here we are uh, having the uh, resistances like the uh, in a proportion with the uh, one is uh, twice the other one okay one is the twice the other one means the first resistance is r then second one is a 4 r then the, it is proportionality in the order of the uh, uh, two so that's why it is called as the binary and weighted so the at each bit at each bit the weight is assigned okay? weight is assigned to that one particular uh, input okay so digital input should be provided through this one of the resistances uh, okay or this one, not one of the is digital input will be provided to the through the resistances to the uh, network and the obviously the output will be measured across the rl rl okay this is rl load resistance and on the uh, digital multi multimeter or else we can have the other voltmeter as well okay now so uh, when we are trying to uh, consider the or uh, assigning the weight to the one particular bit now let us consider uh, the weight assigned to the lsp right suppose here uh, the, there are uh, four bits are there one two three four so lsp to msp that is least bit is uh, uh, least significant uh, bit more uh, most significant bit okay this is what we, we already know about it right so now if suppose the least means the zero 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 and highest means the how, how many number of the bits are there in our uh, uh, conversion so here there are four bits so uh, the our signal will vary from the zero 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 to one 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 okay four times one so uh, what we can have the, uh, our signal is going to get changed from the zero 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 to to the 1111 one, one. so this is 4 bit signal we are just trying to convert into the analog signal so the correspondingly analog signal we must get it right now uh, when we are trying to assign the uh, signal to the one of the particular uh, uh, bit then uh, what we can have here uh, that uh, how many steps are there 15 steps are there F 15 uh, steps are there now if suppose let us consider that the uh, smallest increment okay smallest increment uh, here that is at the lsp so we would like to have this uh, bit uh, uh, cause a change in the analog output that is equivalent to the 1 by 15th time 1 by 15th time because this corresponds to the 15 in the uh, decimal uh, number system right so uh, now uh, as the position of the uh, digital input will be here list is the 2 raised to 0 2 raised to 1 2 raised to 2 and 2 raised to 3 so how much is the position or weight of the position is 2 0 oh, will have the um, uh, cause of the how much uh, will be there uh, that will be uh, correspond to the uh, 1 by 15 Okay, 1 by 15 times that bit will get changed because so 2, 2 raised to uh, 0 position will cause the change and how much is the input voltage we can have the 15 one. So this much amount or else the, if suppose the provided uh, uh, input will be the 5 then that many number of the times the input will get uh, changed. Similarly if we just try to move uh, ahead or else the, we can take the another example as uh, to have the uh, 3 bit then 1 1 1 will be there the maximum uh, uh, digital inputs can have that is uh, 
7 corresponding. So, the corresponding bit will get changed by 1 by 7. If we just try to move from the next uh, 2 raise to 0 position to the 2 raise to 1, obviously the, that becomes a twice the its pre preceding one and so on and so forth. So, uh, this will go on increasing and if we just try to add them together, then uh, the, that change will give us the, the complete uh, change in its uh, um, uh, weight okay, or the total weight of that uh, um, binary uh, uh, signal. Okay. So, uh, the, uh, so, how much is the weight of that LSB? Uh, so, LSB weight is, is how much? Uh, if n, n bit a, uh, digit is there, then 2 raised to n minus 1 is the uh, LSB weight. And MSB it will go on that, it will be multiplied by that uh, position of that uh, weight. Okay. So, now uh, let us try to understand that the, how it is getting uh, uh, output is uh, measured over here. Okay. Output uh, formula for this is output voltage will be something like okay, V1 by R1 means so I can just consider this is uh, to be the uh, uh, what we can say v v1 v2 v3 v4 so on and so forth so this is how the uh, inputs can be uh, considered uh, in this uh, case okay so v1 so now here r1 is uh, suppose a 8r r2 will be uh, 4r r3 will be uh, 2r and r4 will be the r so and so forth similarly the on the denominator as well so how much is the uh, current flowing through it and the uh, variable resistances across it is given as the uh, output one. So, the V0 by V0 is equal to uh, V1 by R1 plus uh, so and so forth. So, this is if there are n number of the bits then the, this addition should be divided the n number of uh, times and divided by the it is a parallel because these resistances are parallel to each other. So, it is parallel combination is divided um, by it. Okay. So, now this is what we can have. So, the uh, output voltage. So, let we will try to understand that the, uh, without uh, op amp how this uh, uh, binary weighted uh, network works. Okay. On the other hand, uh, what we can have uh, when we are trying to uh, use the op amp, then whole circuit will uh, network will be attached to the given uh, to the input of the operational amplifier. This is IC741. Okay. And uh, obviously, there are some. Um, connections corresponding to the I, uh, that IC741 as well and this is feedback resistance RF is equivalent to the uh, all the parallel resistance combinations. So, that much is the feedback resistance and this input is given actually by it is connected over here and correspondingly uh, uh, output will be measured over here on the uh, DMM okay, across the RL. So, RL also is uh, here. Okay. Or else uh, we can measure without RL as well. Okay. Now, this uh, the other type of the uh, uh, DAC is nothing but the R2R. Now, it, the, its name uh, itself uh, represents the uh, uh, network or the uh, explains its uh, phenomena that R and 2R type of the uh, only uh, the uh, resistances are uh, used uh, in the construction of the uh, network. So, what is it? So, R to R, R to R, R to R, so R to R. So, if we just try to equal, if you try to find out the equivalence of this, then we will be able to get it the R only. So, this is how the uh, this uh, R to R ladder actually uh, works. So, is a uh, what we call it as a uh, binary ladder also. Okay. So, the, it is also got as the binary ladder because there are only two resistances are uh, used in this uh, uh, kind of the uh, DAC uh, circuitries. Now, suppose if so, how to uh, calculate the output corresponding to it is uh, something like okay, suppose if I am just trying to give the uh, LSB as a turning on, okay, keeping this on and remaining all will be the uh, uh, grounded, remaining all will be the uh, grounded one. So, what we can have this is grounded, this is grounded, this is grounded. So, this is only the working one, okay, input is provided to it. So, how much is the equivalent resistance remaining it is uh, becomes a uh, 2R and this parallel combination will give us the only R resistance. So, uh, what we can have? So, for the uh, LSB position, for the LSB position, how much is the resistance or voltage corresponding to it is 2 raised to 0 into 1 because this is 1, all other 
voltage becomes a uh, uh, zero so the this k value can be found out when the all the inputs are one that is maximum uh, mm, value uh, of the uh, output will, or the k k value can be calculated by the when the uh, and there are all the inputs to be one all the inputs to be uh, one and uh, related theory can be you can find out in any kind of the um, electronics book okay the uh, digital uh, malvinos book you, you you can have uh, for it and similarly the r to r ladder uh, is connected uh, with the op amp and uh, can, its characteristic uh, can be uh, found out as well okay now uh, okay we'll try to understand that the how it is actually uh, working circuitry okay so how it works i'm just trying to take it here okay and uh, now what is here so i just keep the re uh, reference for here now this is something like okay input digital inputs are there okay I am just trying to connect them and this is the binary weighted uh, DAC. So, uh, what is over here? What is here? So, uh, what is here? They are the uh, resistances in network, right? So, you can see what is the R, 2R, 4R, 8R, okay? So, the networks are. So, I am just trying to connect these lines, okay? So, I just connect it manually, these wires. here and here and I will just try to connect this to this, this to this, this to this and this will be connected to, to the RL over here, okay, RL over here. So, I just connect them. Now, I have connected uh, the wires over here and this output is taken on the, the say uh, that uh, digital multimeter DMM and uh, uh, ground is connected to the ground. So, whole circuit has been grounded. Now, these are the uh, inputs and all the LEDs are off and uh, I am just trying to uh, make it on one by one. So, uh, the corresponding output must get changed. Right. So, when the LSB is uh, made one and all, all other zero, then how much is the output. So, for that I must turn on the circuitry. So, you can see over here some leakage current is uh, flowing so that is why the potential is developed across it and when I am just trying to make the LSP 1 then you can see over here the voltage has changed right. Now, I am just trying to make the this is 0 0 0 1. Now, this is something like I can have the 0 0 0 1 0. So, the corresponding voltage is this much. Now, 0 0 1 1 how much is the voltage corresponding to it. Now, I can make it the 1 0 0 now if the led is not glowing one some uh, problem but 1 0 1 0 0 so the corresponding voltage can be seen over here then 1 0 1 then 1 1 0 then 1 1 1 then what we can have 1 0 0 0 0 then 1 0 0 1 then 1 0 1 0 then 1 0 1 1 then 1 1 0 0 then 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 so how much is the voltage we are getting over here it's uh, recorded over okay now on the other hand similarly i can just connect this circuitry to the input of the uh, op amp operational amplifier and uh, try to measure the we'll try to measure the uh, output okay yeah okay now i have made the connections uh, the, uh, this whole network has been given to the uh, uh, operational amplifier and the, for the working of the operational amplifier plus minus uh, uh, 12 volt has been connected and the ground is grounded. So, according to the our circuit diagram it is connected. Now, there is some. So, I am just turning on the circuitry and we will try to you can see over here there is negative sign right negative sign on this here uh, DMM. Now, and, and that is very important ok. So, the a input is given to the inverting uh, amplifier ok is given to the minus one uh, minus input ok or inverting input. See the ok one way it should this has to be connected right. So, the corresponding voltage has been changed here. Now, 
you can see the 0 0 0 0 then uh, what we can have 0 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 meter little bit rewind and check because this connection was not connected so that's why we were not able to get the any kind of the voltage on the uh, dmm now i am just trying to make it 0, 0, 0, 1. so the voltage is getting changed now 0, 0, 1, 0. sorry okay now 0, 0, 0, 0. now 0, 0, 0, 1. it is in millivolt huh? it has to be converted into the volt then 10. 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 then i can make the 1 0 0 0 then uh, 1 uh, 0 0 1 1 uh, 0 1 0 then 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 and uh, finally 1 1 1 how much is the voltage we are getting it now this is a negative we are getting because we have given the input to the uh, inverting uh, amplifier the connections for the uh, other circuit that is a binary ladder okay now uh yeah uh, i'll just turn on the circuitry okay and what is going to get it let's see okay now uh here dc voltage again we are getting it and the inputs so the i'm just uh, trying to follow the color color code this is connected to the here and the, this is connected to the here so the lsb is here and the msb is here on this side because even if we look at the, our circuit type Okay. our uh, lsb is here and msb is here so where i am following the same rule okay so now uh, again the following the digital inputs 0 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 okay look at the uh, dmm how the output is getting changed 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 and finally 1 1 1 now similarly i'll just try to uh, connect uh, this network uh, to the operational amplifier and try to understand the uh, result using the op amp. I will just make the connection. Now, I have made the connections corresponding to it. Now, we, uh, by an R to R ladder with the uh, uh, op amp with op amp. Okay. Now, just made the connections corresponding to it and you can see the output on the uh, digital multiplier. Now, 0 0 0 we can have the some kind of the voltage that is. Now, at the 0 0 0 1 then 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 0 1 0 1 1 1 0 1 0 1 0 1 1 1 1 0 0 1 1 0 1 then 1 1 1 0 and the finally 1 1 1 it's you can see the negative sign this is because we have given the uh, input to the inverting amplifier yeah there, this is this is what the all explain all about the explanation and what should be the your uh, uh, observation table observation table should have the 
kind of the readings uh, something like okay digital inputs what you can have your observation table should be digital input expected analog output from the formula observed uh, analog output and percentage error corresponding to it. So, this uh, observation table has to be repeated for the uh, four sets okay, four different sets and calculation should be there and uh, you can uh, draw the graph of the digital input uh, versus observed values observed okay, digital input on the uh, y axis and the on x axis you can have the observed output voltages. Okay. So, this is all about the this experiment PSE.